Let's start with an update on crypto regulation. Everything XRP holders have been shouting has been confirmed. Pro XRP lawyer has eagle-eyed a small footnote in a Ripple brief that purportedly confirms XRP was discussed among SEC staff. This is what the footnote says related to the SEC internal dialogue. The footnote, which Deaton believes comes from a third party outside of the SEC, stated there are reasonable grounds to conclude that XRP does not satisfy all elements of the Howey analysis and is therefore not a security for purposes purposes of the federal security laws. So very interesting breadcrumb in this significant case. Nothing is black and white here. And so there's a very good possibility that this case could end up positive for crypto. It's already expanding around the world. Hong Kong lets retail investors trade crypto in new rule book. If China is going to allow retail investors to trade crypto, just a matter of time for the US, probably just in time for the next bull market. So let's dive through what's going on with some of these assets. Cost of decentralized storage versus centralized storage in 2023. Filecoin, 19 cents per terabyte per month. Amazon, $23. Google Cloud, $20. Arweave, $2. So decentralized storage is a revolution. These are seriously powerful assets. Obviously, the cloud, extremely valuable, way less expensive in the decentralized world. Revolutionary technology. Then we have the Flux Cloud reaching over 2 thousand applications and an all-time high. This is exactly what you want to see when investing in these assets. Growth, right? Apps building on the Flux Cloud. Pricewaterhouse Coopers Hong Kong building an experience in the sandbox metaverse. Mass adoption of these assets. Hot Wheels, Fast and Furious NFTs selling out in five minutes on the Flow blockchain. 14,000 packs, $20 per pack. Total sales almost $300 thousand dollars so just massive news 